Bom dia, senhor e senhora. Goa. What does Goa and this bottle of wine have in common? Well, I'm going to tell you in a few minutes' time. My name is Dr. Clinton Lee, and I'm the executive director of the Asia Pacific Wine and Spirit Institute. Welcome to Wines Across Borders. I asked you a question. What does this bottle and Goa have in common? This bottle of wine is from Portugal. The vintage is 1947. The commonality is that Portugal had an area settlement in India called Goa. And in 1947, the same year as this bottle, India became independent. And that's the magnificent aspect of wine. It encapsulates culture, history, people, language, food. We all enjoy food. We all enjoy wine. This particular bottle, Vino de Borba, Tinto. 1947. I haven't tried this particular bottle of wine myself yet, but I did try in 1968, a few months ago. It was spectacular. The wine, the length, it was truly an expression of a well-made wine. When we think of Portugal, we don't think very much apart from Vino Verde. But you must understand that Portugal itself is not only about Vino Verde, but the length and the breadth, Alentejo, Dao. But there's one thing that I must share with you. Truly, the Portuguese excel at this. They are the masters, and that is Port. Let me open this for you. I'd love to try it with you, but I can't, unfortunately. I hope one day we have the chance to do that. This is what Portugal is known for. This is a 20 year old tawny port. The smell, the cigar smell, the dried fruits, the nuts. When you drink this wine, you're actually taking in the time the period of that 20 years ago. This was 1963. Portugal is a country that has given much to the world and we don't often think of Portugal as a huge wine producing country. It may not be in volume but it is in warmth. It is in terms of the people. They are one of the warmest and most sincerest people that I've had the pleasure of meeting in the 90 countries that I have traveled the world to. So I invite you, let's have a toast to Portugal. Obrigado.